Well, let's talk now to Petya Kueva Brooks, who's Deputy Director of the IMF's Research Department. Uh, good to have you on the programme, Petya. Uh, so we're seeing a slight improvement in the forecast for the global economy, uh, but we're not out of the woods yet, are we? Exactly. We're not out of the woods. We have seen some good news. Uh, the COVID emergency is over. The, um, we've seen a lot of resilience in the first quarter of this year in economic outturns across the world. Some of the, the really uh, bad risks that we were talking about a few months ago about banking sector stress have not materialized. But at the same time, looking ahead, we are seeing signs of slowdown. And um, inflation headline, although in headline inflation is coming down, core inflation is still quite sticky. So a lot of challenges ahead. So China's economy forecast to grow uh, less strongly than before, though. What impact is that having on the rest of the world? Well, China, the Chinese economy um, started recovering from the COVID situation early in this year. In the first quarter, we saw very strong growth rates. And then we've seen some slowing since then. The forecast for this year is 5.2. We have not changed that relative to what we had a few months ago, but I think it's fair to say that downside risks uh, have um, become more prominent. And if those were to, to materialize, they could have a material impact on the rest of the world. Just as a rule of thumb, we think that um, one percentage lower growth in China translates into lower growth for the world of 0.3. We, we have seen some, some concerns over China's property sector. Uh, more support uh, now looking on, likely to be on the way. Uh, what's been the reaction uh, to those signals from the Politburo? Indeed, the real estate sector is one of the risks that we've highlighted. So in that context, the steps that are being taken are certainly uh, welcome. Uh, I think in terms of what more one can do, um, we think that uh, providing support to households and making it easier for that domestic demand to be robust is, is, uh, is another thing that the authorities could do. Let's talk about the UK, if we can. Uh, is the IMF still worried about it? Uh, its inflation rate is still high compared to other European countries, uh, but still uh, looking likely to do better than Germany is. We have upgraded our forecast for the UK by 0.7 uh, percentage points this year. So now we're expecting the economy to grow by 0.4. And previously we had uh, the UK in a, uh, in a recession. So in that sense, things have improved, although the outlook for growth is still uh, relatively weak. And also, as, as you mentioned, inflation is core inflation is still elevated. All of that being said, we think that the uh, steps that the Bank of England uh, is taking to address inflation are the right ones, and um, eventually inflation will come down to its target. So uh, the IMF thinks the Bank of England is doing the right thing. Are, are central bankers more broadly uh, doing enough? Are the steps that they're taking uh, working? Well, the fight against inflation is not over yet, but the central banks are doing the right thing in terms of uh, having a relatively uh, restrictive stance in order to bring that inflation uh, down. We are still expecting uh, those inflation rates to be above target in most economies in the world, which means that, again, um, you know, it's important to, uh, to, to keep those uh, to keep that tight stance of monetary policy until the inflation uh, problem is solved. One last thought on this, though. The situation is quite different across countries. So in China, we're actually talking about much lower uh, inflation rates. And there are parts of the world, such as Latin America, where um, central banks acted very early. So some of them approaching the end of their heightening cycles. So as you say, lower inflation perhaps in China than uh, elsewhere, uh, growth of 5.2% forecast. What would the IMF uh, like to see China doing uh, to further stimulate its economy? Well, providing fiscal support is one of the areas that, that we think uh, would make a difference. And again, targeted fiscal support to vulnerable households, which would also make it, uh, w which would translate, we think, into higher private uh, consumption, which would also help rebalance the uh, Chinese economy, which is something that we've been recommending for a long time. Petia Kueva-Brooks from the IMF, uh, great to talk to you today. Thank you for joining us.